hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be playing the game Riven World. And we're in the game now. What we're going to be doing is getting some uh, what I call pirate booty. Uh, some RNG chances to get uh, some chess boxes in the game uh, by digging up trees. And right now I just got to get some. I got one axe uh, in my inventory. but I, Oh, I got two axes so we can go and do this. This shouldn't be a problem. It's kind of dark in the world right now only because the sun's just coming up in the world. The server just reset. I have a torch in my hand. You'll see what it looks like without the torch. Pretty dark. They've darkened the game up a little bit to, to make it feel, uh, uh, I guess, uh, a little more claustrophobic in the nighttime, especially when you're running around and bears are going to try to run you down or boars, the big pigs will try to run you down. You won't see them coming. I mean, even with its torch, you don't see that far into the distance. You can go to options in the game, go to settings, and go to uh, graphics, and you should be able to change your gamma. So, like, my gamma right now is set to 2.1. I could go up higher and hit apply, and then go back to resume, and now it's like uh, there's no darkness in the world. Even if I get rid of the torch... It, it kind of lightens everything up. So then we're going to play with high gamma because I the night cycle in this game is not my cup of tea. So we're going to play with a higher gamma. Uh, and, and then if we ever want to bring that back down to see total darkness again and needing the torch, we can do that. So let's go find some trees to see if we can get that RNG chance to get some... some um, good loot now if you go to try this method if you start the game fresh and you quickly get a shovel this is a good way to get your gear a good way to get items that are higher tier items without having to build the forge and build you know spend five or six hours getting the basic elements for example i will show you that in my on my body i got heavy steel plate skin i got that out of one of these pirate booty chests that i'm about to show you about that's where I got it. I didn't make it. I got all sorts of stuff out of these out of these things. So what you want to do is you want to go to the smaller trees, these trees here, because they'll leave a stump and just cut it down. And the smaller trees do not have a lot of hit points. So you're you're basically chopping them down. You're pulling out your shovel. You're hitting E to remove the stump. Now, this mechanism was added to the game initially so that trees would not regrow in people's homes. They could remove the tree stump, and the tree will never regrow. So once we get this stump out, then we'll uh, then it's gone. So I didn't get anything from that. So uh, we're going to put the, uh, the axe back in our hand. Here's another skinny tree. You just want the skinny trees because you're just trying to dig up the stump. There's another skinny tree right here that we're going to cut down. Now, the bigger trees just take forever to cut down, and your chances are the same. Regardless of, of a big tree stump or a little tree stump, the stump mechanics of this are all the same. I'll get the shovel out. We're going to do some digging. Sometimes you have to dig a few times for you to get the, the stump out. Uh, there's that one's gone we'll remove this one now the rng chance to get one of these loot boxes i mean it's i think it's like five percent is i think is you got a five percent chance to get like a basic loot box and you've got a uh, like a three percent chance to get a medium loot box and uh oh this is gonna give me two stumps and then there's like a one percent chance to get a uh a really high-end box you know that drops I haven't seen all the boxes uh, I I've gotten few boxes out of the ground I, I mean I did, this is kind of lucrative this is if you got the patience to do this and um, and you just want to you just want to dig up some stump especially if you want to remove trees if you want to do some planting in a field next to your house so if this was a field and it was next to my house, at least I know things would not regrow. Here's another skinny... Oh, foraging the trees uh, gets you uh, leaves. I noticed that the foraging allows you to do a double dip on all the trees now. So I forged this... Oh, no, I'm still getting stuff. So I'm 
So basically I'm foraging. I usually forage the trees until I get absolutely nothing. And the reason why I forage the trees is to get the fruit because uh, you can just eat that. So I'm gonna put the ax in my hand because you're gonna need to eat in this game and you can get pears and apples from the trees. Get the uh, shovel out. We're gonna do some digging. Oh, it looks like the sun's coming up. So maybe I'll need to switch the gamma back down a little bit. Might be too bright. It's just really dark. On its uh, original, it's on its core settings. The game is quite dark, and I, I get that people are gonna want to play it that way. Oh, it's got nothing. All right. But for me to do these type of videos, I don't want to deal with swapping the torch for the axe to the to the shovel. It just this is just makes it easier, makes the game. Um, it is daytime. Let me uh, go back to the settings and go to the gamma, and I'm gonna put the gamma back to zero. I think this is gonna give us yeah. Well, this is plenty of uh, light now to to get what we need to do. So here we go, we're gonna shovel. Dig up some stumps. There should be two stumps here. There were two little trees that I chopped down. Plus the wood, I'm gonna use the wood that we're getting, the logs. Those are gonna be very helpful. Those are what I'm gonna be using in my furnaces. What I would recommend if you're running your furnace and you wanna do it on the cheap, cut the Cut the trees down, get the um, get the logs, then make those logs. I'll forge first. You make those logs in the wood blocks, just basic wood blocks on your carpentry table, and then use those wood blocks in your furnaces. It seems like you get double the time out of. All right, you get double the time out of. So if you put 64 logs in there, you you're gonna get X amount of time. But if you put 64 wooden blocks, then you're, uh, I think you get, you know, double that. So they burn slower. And they're worth doing. You put a couple carpentry benches down and uh, like we're going to see here, I got carpentry benches all over the place. And because I've do, been doing this tree, tree cutting and, uh, and whatnot. Here's a small tree here. So I, I got a lot of uh, logs that I have to get, you know, do something with. Digging up. All right. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to forage the trees. I mean, what if you if you're looking to get that easy apple or pear for eating? Because I mean, it really, the you could just get a shovel in this game and just do this. You know, just go around and cut trees down and um, and dig up stumps. These trees here, it doesn't look like they're, those are for ambient purposes when you see those stumps because you can't really attack them. And you can't dig them up, which is, can be problematic if they're near your house. They have no hitbox, so you, you can walk right through them. So like you're not gonna get stuck on them. There it is, right there. There's the loot box right there. All right, so let's open it and see what we got. Oh, nice. What do we got here? We got medium leather shirt. Perfect. Uh, we got simple leather pants. Nice. Simple iron boots. Very nice. They're giving me a wood shovel. And they're giving me an iron spade. Not Because you can use those as a weapon. And they're giving me an iron short sword. Booyah! And then once that empties, it, it disappears. And uh, it looks like there's still a stump left. I'll just dig it up. We're gonna have to go back to my uh, house here to uh, to get rid of some of this loot. So let's do that. This is my house here on uh, server one. PVP server one, this is my house. And I'm gonna go up to uh, this carpentry bench right here. I had queued for stairs. I always like to have stairs, but these are the wooden blocks you wanna make. And hit max. 
and I can make, with the wood that I just got, I can make 31, and I'll use those to fire up my forge in my furnace. And I'm gonna go over here to this, this campfire, and this is where I'm gonna deposit my leaves, my sticks, things that I normally don't use. I did pick up five apples during that foraging, which is nice. Things I don't really care to or need, and then I'll just turn this on and just burn those things away. And it gives me the light at night, making this, this structure look pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna have to get rid of uh, quite a bit of stuff that's, uh, I'm gonna put the torch in my hand because again, it's, it's dark in these buildings uh, because I have no lighting going on in here. Like if I go to here, I can turn this, I can turn this on here and now I can get rid of my tur. If I have the furnace on, it does light up this room. So what I want to do is I want to go to my, uh, this table here is a carpentry table. Uh, so I could add more, if I had more wood, I would be able to have that one going. Let's go in this box here and get rid of some of this stuff. So I picked up these, this cloth clothing. I don't need it for now. Get rid of these sticks here. This is stone. This is stone. So I can merge those two together. I'm just kind of pack ratting some stuff here because I don't really, this is iron ore. I don't really need it. I don't need like five shovels. I think I've got another crate over here. Oh no, this crate's full of stuff too. Okay, so what I, what you can do, which is a beautiful, I'll, I'll make some more boxes later. You can open any crafting bench and, and put things into a crafting bench and use that as storage. So I'm going to put the the iron sword that I picked up, the iron spade. I'm gonna throw away the wooden spade. Don't really need that. I'll burn that. These blocks I need, that's the, the I think that's an extra shovel. I uh, probably, I'll, no, that's, yeah, I think that's an extra shovel. How many shovels do I need? Yeah, cause I got an iron spade there. So that's an extra one too. Uh, I don't need this wooden short sword. I got that out of one of those boxes. I am gonna need the ax. Uh, the planks are always nice to have, but I don't think I need all the planks that I have. So I can, I think this furnace will will uh, burn planks if I'm, yeah. So I have a lot of planks, so I don't, I don't need them. I had made those, you're gonna need to make, you need the planks to make your tools. So if I wanted to make another iron ax, that's what I've been using is iron tools. I need the planks for that and I need the iron bars. Now that's pretty simple to get, the iron bars, because I've got a boatload of them in that box there. And I just go here and I tell it, I'll make me another, another ax. And in five seconds, I got myself another iron ax so I can cut down more trees. Now the, um, Now I need fiber Fiber is another thing that you need. And again, I've, I've got all what I need to make tools in this, in this chest. That's what I was, uh, that's what I was, uh, that's why I have this chest here is so that uh, I can just pull the stuff I need when I need to make more tools right out of it. And why do I, oh, I was gonna make chairs. That's why I have the half block, stone block. I've got a bunch of those. I have to return the iron. So really, I mean, as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff in this game already. I can shut this furnace off now. And uh, I'll shut the furnace off now. I'm not gonna be up here doing that. I just wanna show you, I was able to uh, show you my house here. I was able to do a, uh, a well within on the first floor here it's got 128 buckets of clean water in it i put this door this is the door that i made you can open and close it then i have a water collector out here that i made that's got 128 water in it i've got this farming field if i want to do farming then what i did is i created this um the stairwell to get up to the next level without having to run all the way around so this is what it looks like from, from this side. Instead of having to run, because this is short, this is cliffs. So I can't, you know, I can't really get up here. So to get up to that second platform, I have to run all the way around. So I have to run all the way around. And I was like, okay, that's a waste of time because I want to be able to get these iron nodes that are up here. There's iron nodes up here. And I want to be able to harvest those, right? 
So it was just easier to build this stairwell. There's some extra crafting benches that I use depending on what I'm doing. They might actually have stuff in them. No, no. All right, so I just built this neat stairwell to, so I can get up and down from my house. I put another well here that has 128 buckets of water in it. And, uh, and really, you know, that's, that's my house down there. So I won't take up much more of your time tonight. I just was gonna, I just wanted to show you the booty, the pirate booty. I call it that because you're digging for treasure, and the RNG is is nice because you can really equip yourself nicely if you got a couple guys in your clan that are just going around chopping trees down and digging up stumps. You can really start equipping people early on without feeling like you're behind because you get into a PVP environment and you feel all oh, people have been on the server a long time. I'll feel like I'm gonna get ganked. I'm gonna feel like I'm behind. Everybody's ahead of me. Yeah, but you find an isolated spot, start digging up trees. Then all of a sudden you got the gear that everyone else has. All right, well, thank you for joining me. And this has been the Tarkus Zone.